in excel this blank sheet is in front of you now see in the top of the ribbon you see the option data in the data at the very much at the right side you see the one option that is data analysis everyone this is called data analysis tool but when you are using this tool at very first time then it is not it is not visible okay and that case you need to be install this package in your excel so how we can install it so first of all you have to go to the home menu of the excel that is file you have to click on the file you have to click on the file then go to the option in the new box at the left uh, side second last option is add ins click on add ins and at the bottom you will get the excel add in click on go you have to choose the first option that is analysis tool pack click on it okay so automatically your option will be highlighted so once this option is highlighted you can see once you click on it different tools are available in there you can do anova for the single factor two factor with replication without replication correlation covariance descriptive statistics then exponential moreover we can see the correlation regression and t test it may be two test two test two sample t test pair t test and also if you are dealing with the more than 30 sample that is j test crd now see for the crd let us consider there are the eight treatments and you want to be consider uh, you want to find out is there significant difference between this eight treatment is present or not in that case if you go manually you have to calculate the total treatment sum of square mean sum of square if calculated on all that things okay excel provide you the anova directly with help of the data analysis tool pack after calculating the data analysis tool pack those value you have to calculate manually and those formulas are i am giving you on the screen so keep those formula with you the cd value it is calculated with help of this formula that is acd into t value the t value always calculated at error degrees of freedom then acd acd that is called acm value the acm value can calculate with help of the under root of 2 into mac mean sum of square divided by replication so cd value we are getting this acd into t you are getting those value of the cd once you calculate the cd you can calculate the cv the cv it is called is equal to under root of mac that means square root of mean square error divided by mean of the or grand mean of the your observation so we are seeing how to solve this one let us consider this is the data set there are total eight treatment and three replications so i am going to the data analysis click on the data now see at the top of the first menu we are getting the anova the anova for the single factor that anova indicate your crd the single factor that indicate your crd click on it it is asking the input range whatever the data set you have just select all the data set in the input range okay now all the treatments in your data set it is horizontally placed or row wise placed that's why we have to click on the row we have to click on the row because those treatment it is horizontally placed okay that's why i'm clicking on okay i'm clicking the label because first column that treatment indicating i want my result here only so i'm clicking on the this results i'm clicking on okay sorry okay i have to select from here again i am repeating keep in mind while selecting the input range for the anova single factor we have to select the row wise data because the data is arranged in row wise so i am selecting this one okay so row wise i have selected the data set 
I'm skipping everything that is treatment R1, R2, R3. I'm not taking into consideration. I'm selecting only treatment names and their number of replications. And the row wise data I'm selected. I want result here only. So I'm getting this results. For the treatment one, there are total number of observation replication is three. Some of the first treatment is 49. Average value of the first treatment is 0.16 and the variance for the first treatment is getting here. So that means in the single click, we are getting the number of count, sum, average and variance. Now come down, that is ANOVA. The ANOVA table, it is indicate your result is significant or non-significant. Again, we have to make our interpretation based on this value. So keep in mind, again, I'm repeating, if your value is less than 0 0.05, less than 0 0.05, your test is significant at 5%. If your value is less than 0 0.01, your, your test is significant at 1%. In the present situation, our value is less than 0 0.01 or equal to 0 0.01. So our test is or our ANOVA is significant at 1%. Now, once you calculate those values in the research paper, it is asking you to write down CD, SCM and CV value in your presentation. So what we have to do, first of all, you have to calculate T value. The T value, it is calculated with help of this formula. T is equal to T, I and V. You have to use this formula T, I and V. You have to write down the probability. At what probability you have to use this T table? I am using it 0 0.05 probability. And the degrees of freedom, the degrees of freedom always take for the within the group that is for the error. That is for the error. Now see, generally what happened, we are using the CRD between the groups that indicate your treatment, that indicate your treatment, within the group that is indicate your error, and last one is your total. So always while calculating the T value, we have to use the probability 0 0.05 and the error degrees of freedom that is 16 you have to use. And this value, it is indicate T value. We required, we required the average of, we required average of all the observations, that is all observation I am selected. So is average into bracket, we are getting it. So that is called 17. That is average of our whole data set. Now I require CV. The CV it is calculated with help of the formula. CV is equal to SQRT, that is means square root of your means error square, that is MSE divided by divided by your mean into hundred. The CV is equal to the CV is equal to root of MSE divided by mean into 100. So I'm doing it. What I'm doing is equal to square root of this value, square root of this value, square root of this value divided by the mean of this value, mean of this value into 100. So I'm getting the CV value. Now SCM. SCM it is calculated, it is equal to SQRT of your mean square error, sorry, mean square divided by divided by number of replication. Number of replications are three. The SCD is equal to this SCM into SQRT of two, that is square root of two, into, into your T value. So you are getting value of CD. Okay, so those values you have to calculate manually, but anyway you are getting in the data analysis tool pack. This CRD, I'm again repeating because once you understand this design, remaining design, you can understand easily. So I'm again repeating, this is, we have to compare this A treatment. You have to compare, is there significant differences present or not? So I'm making it data analysis, data analysis tool pack, ANOVA single factor. In ANOVA single factor, I have to select only those treatment which consider under analysis. So those statements I'm arranged in row wise. So that's why I'm clicking on the row. I'm clicking on the row. I'm clicking on the row. Then 
the label of the column I already selected. Output range, I want this uh, output here only. Okay, so you are getting this results. For each statement, it is calculated sum, average, and variances. Annual table you are getting here. In the annual table between the groups, it is called treatment. Within the group, it is called error. This error degrees of freedom, it is used for the calculation of the T value. And this value, it is indicated for the significant difference of the ANOVA is present or not. Based on this value, you have to calculate your CV value, SCM value, and CD value. When you calculate the CV value, we have to use square root of this mean square error, square root of this mean square error, divided by mean of the value into 100. For the calculation of SCM, you have to make the square root of this mean square error divided by mean square divided by number of replication. And for calculation of the CD value, you have to use SCM value into T value into square root of two value. So we are getting the CD value. Okay. Now we proceed for the next one that is randomized block design. Let us consider there are eight treatment and three replication, same data set I'm using here. Again, go to the data in the data analysis. You have to choose ANOVA for the two factor without replication. You have to choose the option analysis ANOVA two factor without replication. So click on it. You have to select all the data set range. You are selecting the labels. You want output range here. So click on it. Okay. You are getting the results. Now there are eight treatment. Each treatment having the three replication and the sum of the each treatment average and variance is there. There are three replication. Each replication showing the eight uh, treatments and having the sum average and variance. This ANOVA table, the first one, it is indicate your treatment. The first one, it is indicate your treatment. Second column, that is indicate your replications. That is called replications. And the third one, it is error already mentioned here. And last one is total. Our total treatments are eight. So eight minus one degrees of freedom seven. Replication is three. Three minus one, two is degrees of freedom. Again, you have to select those values, P values, compare it. Now see for the treatment. Now see for the treatment, you see. Your treatment effect the value is less than 0 0.05 that indicates your treatment effect is significant your treatment effect is significant again we have to calculate p value the p value always calculated on error degrees of freedom so p i n v 0 0.05 level of significance the degrees of freedom for the error is 14 is equal to your t value the grand mean is calculated average is equal to you have to select all the data point you are getting the grand mean the cv it is calculated sqrt of your mean value mean square value divided by your grand mean divided by your grand mean into 100 you are getting the cv value the acm it is calculated sqrt of your mean square sqrt of your mean square divided by number of replication, that is 3, that is SCM, and the CD value, it is calculated with help of the your SCM into T value into SQRT of SQRT of 2. Now one thing, I like to be show you one of the things, what our values are, correct or not. Keep in mind, when you are talking about the 5% level of the significance, your SCM value always three times, near to three times or approximate three times of the, uh, your CD value always three times of the SCM value. Let us consider this is your, this value. I am making the three times of this one. That is 2.03. That means it is near to 2.06. So that means your values are correct. So this is called randomized block design. 